exercise two on the sheet is looks quite simple, but it, 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 it's surprisingly, I mean, it's surprisingly easy, sorry, it's surprisingly hard to get it correct. It illustrates a number of things. It illustrates how to send point-to-point -point messages in SPM decoders. So what we're going to do is we've got, an account, we've got an expansion for pi, which is some large sum from 1 to 840 or something. It's just a sum. So if there's four of us, I can do the sum from 1 to 210. You could do 211 to 420. Somebody else could do 421 to 660. Is that 620 or whatever, whatever it is, and I, somebody else could do the last section. Okay, so each person can compute can compute a fraction of the sum, but then we want to sum the sub sums and sum them together. And what we're going to do is we're all going to compute our own um, contribution to pi. We're going to nominate somebody, maybe rank zero, and you're all going to send me a message, and I'm going to add it up. So that illustrates. You then, have to, you then have to sort out that some people are senders, some people are receivers, and get that working. It also illustrates, even before you do that, it illustrates how to split up work based on your size and your rank. Because if you know that n is 840, to know what subsection of that summation, which goes globally from 1 to 840, you have to do, you have to know, you have to know the size, because you need to know what the, the chunk sizes are, and you need to know your rank to know which chunk to do. So the first thing to do in the pi example is first write a serial code and make sure you get the right answer, right? The number of times I've spent debugging a Parsons parallel code and you realize the serial code was wrong. C programmers, you will get this wrong because C programmers don't understand the difference between a loop from 1 to n and a loop from 0 to n minus 1, okay? Because the C syntax is stupid. But when I say i equals 1 to n, I mean i equals 1 to n. I don't mean i equals 0, i less than n, i double plus. I mean i equals 1 to n. So, so that's why C programmers get it wrong. So write a serial program to check that you get the right answer for pi. 3.141592 is about accurate enough. Then write a parallel program where everyone computes their subsum of pi, but just add them up by hand. Get them to print it to the screen and add them up by hand, check you got the right answer. Once you've done that, you can then progress to adding them up within the program where you send them. So go through it methodically. Don't write the parallel program right from the start. Check the serial program works. Check you split up the work correctly by just printing the answers to the screen and adding them up by hand. Then check that you get the right answer. This is surprisingly hard. Um, well, depending on how your mind works, but it's not as easy as it might look. When I say n, I don't... The n in the summation is not the number of processors. You should imagine, right, I'm going to use... Well, I said n equals 100 running on 4. I, I recommend using n equals 840. Don't bother about the subtlety that n might not divide into the number of processors, okay? Just assume it does, because if you make 840, it divides into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I mean, almost everything. So. Don't bother about subtleties like, oh, well, n might be 837, which is prime. Is it prime? No, it's not, is it? No, it's fine. Anyway, but anyway, it's not divisible by 2 anyway. So, so if you finish the pi example, you may want to try the ping pong example. But in terms of programming, the pi example is much more, much more useful and illustrative than the ping pong example.